So here I have a directory of uh, what has text grids and wave files in it. And what I want to do is log durations of labeled intervals in the text grids. And so the script to do this is duration logger that prot. Um, it's only important that I have all the text grids in there. I don't actually need the wave files because all the information I need to calculate the durations, which is just where the interval boundaries are, is in uh, all that information is just in the text grids. But anyway, uh, here we go. Let's run it. So uh, first, I need to navigate and go into prot and say open read from file, and navigate to wherever the script is, and here it is. Click on open. All right, so now when we look at the script, remember the uh, pound signs are all comment lines. Those are just to help you understand how the script works. Um, and in particular, here you can see um, which arguments you need to fill in. So first of all, we have to say where the uh, text grids are, what directory they're in. We need to say which tier number we want to log durations from. We also need to specify the directory where we want to save the log duration text file that's output by the script. And then we also need to give a file name for that output file. So just as a reminder, um, I need to go in and find where these text grids are. If I click in my folder with the text grids, let me right click on any of the uh, files in there. And here, um, let me do that again. That was a little fast, sorry. So if I right click um, on any of the files in there, I click on get info. And then you can see here under where it gives me a path. Yours might be a little bit different, but go ahead and command C to copy it. Um, PC users, remember I made that little video to show you how to find the file path. Um, so I'll go ahead in here and let's delete the path that was in there and put in this one. Don't forget that forward slash. So there I have said where the directory with all the text grids in it are. Um, and then here's the tier number one. Let's just assume I want to grab durations from tier number one, so I'll leave it as one. And let's say where we want to save the output file. It is not a good idea to save the output file in the same directory as where all the text grids or wave files are, because Prot might think that that text file is a text grid and it might mess up things. Instead, I'm going to save it in the same directory where the script is, which is the parent directory to where all those text grids are. So to grab the uh, path to here, one thing I could do is get info, right click get info for a file that's in the directory I want, which you can see I'm currently in duration logger demo. So let's go to get info. And here is our path. I'm going to copy that using Command C and paste it into here where it asked me for the save directory. Okay, I pasted it in. Don't forget to add that forward slash. And finally, let's just say duration log.txt is a fine file name for this file, and let's get working. So I can go ahead and save this if I if I'm happy with all the um, directory paths and file names and everything I put in. And let's go and run. So if we go and click on Run, um, these are filled in with the defaults we already put in there in the script. We hit OK. A prot info window pops up and tells us all files have been processed. What next? Great. So how do we know anything has happened? If we go into our duration logger demo, we can see a new file has appeared called duration log.txt. This is a text file. If I open it, um, I'm just going to double click on it. This is opening up in a text editor. And hey, look at this. We have the file name, the label, the interval number, the tier name. It's a little off alignment between the rows, but uh, tier number is one. Start time at zero seconds. Stop time, 0 0.286 seconds. And the duration calculated from stop minus start time right there. So that's what the output file should look like. You should have a bunch of entries for each 
file that you have in the directory um, that you wanted to have analyzed and that's the output file and that's how duration logger.prot works.